What's up guys, Knifefanatic here. Hope all of y'all are having an amazing day. Today we're gonna be looking at the new Leatherman Arc. My buddy Michael, he let me borrow this. So Michael, if you're watching this, thank you very much. So yeah, it comes in this standard nylon pouch here. Has a belt buckle, or sorry, a belt loop attachment. So you could put it on your belt if you wish. On this side, we have an elastic band that you could probably fit a tiny flashlight in or maybe a permanent marker. On this side, a slightly smaller elastic band where you can put a pen or pencil. Has a really nice snap button there. Comes with this bit set. Very nice. And then the multi-tool. Go ahead and set the pouch off to the side there. So yeah, guys, check this out. The Leatherman Arc. First off, I wanna say this multi-tool looks really nice. It has a very premium look and finish to it. The pocket clip is deep carry-ish. You're only gonna have, you know, about that much sticking out the pocket right there and it is removable with some t6 uh, torx screws or torx bits on this side we have a magna what a magna cut blade guys check that out with a dlc coating on it USA made Magna Cut Steel. Yep. Really nice. And the DLC coating is, I think, done really well. It's very nice. It's, it has this uh, kind of like a sheen type look to it. You know, when oil is on water, it has that kind of rainbowy rainbow effect to it. But in certain, certain lighting, you can kind of see that same type of effect. We have a really nice kind of drop, I'd say modified sheep's foot drop point blade. But I really like the blade shape. It, it looks great. It locks open. So what you do to unlock it is you push this little lever out like that close it just like that it's uh, very easy to manipulate and you can thumb flick this whoops very nicely oops my fault there we go feels you know as good as it's gonna get in hand for being a multi-tool it's not gonna be the most ergonomic I mean can't really uh, complain about that but on the other side, we have these scissors that feel really good. And then to unlock it, we just press down on that little lever again and close it just like that. The other side, we have a diamond coated file here. Really nice. And then we have a uh, like a cross cut or cross hatch type type. <laughs> My goodness, words are hard. A cross hatch style file. <laughs> and then to close this as well, you just push on that little lever right there and close it. On the other side, we have a saw blade. Same thing, just push that little lever to unlock it and close it. Uh, another really cool feature about this multi-tool is that it has magnets. It has magnets to keep it closed, so you can actually open and close this with one hand. It's very nice and easy to manipulate. Ergonomics, especially with this, how, how they did this pocket clip, are done really well. My thumb rests naturally in this little ramp right there 
so when I'm squeezing it or like you know trying to manipulate the the pliers it's very nice and comfortable which these pliers are not spring-loaded by the way they are needle tip nose pliers I'm trying to focus in on that there we go and we have some wire cutters right there on the bottom of the pliers looks like they are replaceable as well so if you do chip or damage them you can replace them and then to close it we can just you know it, I can't show this to you but I'd be able to you know put this on my leg or something and just close it like that and there you go and then on this side we can open it just by pressing down right there and then it'll fan out all the different little tools inside the multi-tool so we have it looks like a bottle opener there or a can opener rather and then a bit here or a bit holder has a little notch right there to keep it in place which is nice you can have a flathead or a a, a Phillips there and then to close it we just move that little lever and it closes just like that and then for this side we just push down right there fans out all the different tools we have a flat head or I believe they call it a pry bar and then possibly another bottle opener we have a tiny, tiny Phillips here with a tiny flathead held in with a detent. And then we have an awl here in case you need to pierce something to sew or whatever. I've never had to use an awl, so <laughs> I wouldn't really know but pretty sure you could they're mainly used for puncturing hard stuff like probably leather if you're trying to sew some leather but yeah i believe that is all the tools for the leatherman arc here we have some pvd coating and i don't know if because they they say this it has pvd and dlc coating so i think the only thing that might be dlc it is like the magna cut blade not too sure i know all the information on this is on their website so if you kind of want to get some more information on this you could go down into the description i'll put the link to this in the description so y'all can take a closer look at it if you want but i just kind of wanted to show y'all and hopefully you know y'all could make a decision whether or not you want to buy this i think personally because this is coming in at 229 dollars and 95 cents straight off the leatherman uh, website so i know you could probably get it a lot cheaper other places amazon possibly they might have this running at like 200 dollars or 215 who knows um, but usually you could find it find things a lot cheaper on different websites and dealers so yeah, guys, just uh, wanted to do a little video on this. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll see you in the next one. Knife Fanatic out.